Hey guys, Jarek here, and I'm going to be doing a playthrough of Fear Extraction Point. I did say I was going to, and I'm going to try to finish this within the next four days because Black Mesa Source comes out, and I'll also be doing a playthrough of that. But uh, as I'm saying, Fear Extraction Point, this is my favorite Fear release, and in my opinion, Fear starts go downhill after this. Perseus Mandate was playable and it was enjoyable, but you could kind of see how the, uh, the studio that made Fear was starting to get split up. You could start to see the changes, and then Fear 2 happened, and let's just be honest, Fear 2 was a horrible abomination of a game compared to Fear 1. Uh, so yeah, Fear Extraction Bullet, my favorite Fear release. I'm going to be doing a playthrough of it just like originally I'm going to be doing it on Extreme Difficulty. Let's start a new game on Extreme Difficulty. Unfortunately, this game was never patched fully up to the version 1.08 patch. So uh, it doesn't natively run in 1080, but I can change the config file to make it run 1080. It's not native, but it's not that big of an issue, and it's definitely playable. You probably won't notice, uh, but it kind of bugs me here and there. But hey, let's just start playing. Still don't know the extent of the damage. We haven't been able to get through to anyone since the explosion. What about Alma? What happened to her? What was that sound? The war is coming. I've seen the dreams. Fire sweeping over their bodies in the streets. Cities turn to dust. Retaliation. Looks like we're all still alive. Small favors. I can't reach anybody on the radio. Something's blocking the signal. That's not good. We're gonna find another way down. You're in no condition to climb through that hole. I'm fine. Sure you are. Let's move. I miss it when expansions were actually expansions, not shit that they took out of the game and then have you pay more for later. Because they didn't even start working on the expansions for, you know, months after the original Fear was released. And it is a sizable step up in comparison to the last game. They added new things, changed it, they legitimately improved Fear. Gone. I love being able to do that now. You couldn't do that before. Oh, hey, that's something I need to do. Whoops, my bad. I need to change the controls. Funny, it looks like most of my, uh, most of my controls are still set from the old control scheme I had from years ago. I know I have crouch set to control. Fuck C for crouch. That'd be stupid. I hate how every new game does that. We made it to the roof. Man, it's dark. Hang on. I'll drop a flare. We're going to make our way down the fire escape. 
Oh, getting out of here. <laughs> eh. He's dormant. When Fettel was killed, the replicas deactivated. He's dead now. I wanted to examine him. Preemptive strike. Keep your radio on, and we'll hook up down the road. Some of the ragdoll in this game just makes me laugh. Oh, you can't do anything now with Federal Dead, can you? You're already dead, but I'll kick you anyway. The bodies don't go as near as far in Extraction Point than they did in the original game. <laughs> element to the origin explosion and the city was evacuated. Cities don't empty this quick. I don't remember starting with full armor. Oh. And here comes the, uh, <laughs> the funniest worst line in all of fear history. No, don't close on me, dork. doesn't make sense. Not much does anymore. You killed me. I didn't like that. No shit, I expected you to like me killing you. Kill them all before they can do anything about it. I don't think that's supposed to be happening. <laughs> that's that's pretty strange, even for being in a church. It's kind of disappointing that they don't go flying anymore when you kick them, because that was hilarious in Fear 1. You get so many glitches with them, like, flying through the wall and stuff. Oh, I was hoping there'd be, like, an Easter egg written on there or something. Because there's a, pr a few pretty funny Easter eggs in this, uh, this game. So yeah, I have until uh, four more days, maybe it's three until Black Mesa Source comes out. That game is going to be giant for a mod. Compressed, it's three gigabytes. Uncompressed, it's eight. So for a mod, that's damn big. For a free mod, especially using a free uh, 2007 SDK. Oh. 
What? No, give me that health kit. Rats! No, no, you get back here. <laughs> Man, I wish I could do that to rats in real life. Also, and yes, I am still using my headset mic. I'm not using my uh, condenser mic. Like I said, I'll be going back to using my condenser mic for playthroughs when uh, I get a new case, the Corsair 550D, because that is a really, really good noise canceling case. Health file, or health booster. I keep calling them health files because I played so much Fear Combat. Well, oh, shit. Search this area. <laughs> yeah, come here. Search this area. <laughs> God damn it, they've used this song so much. I'm not complaining about it. Because the song is uh, for combat, fitting. Oh, hey, they broke through the wall. Get out of here. Okay, I think <laughs> the music is up just a little bit too too much. Oh, when did I get another pistol? And yes, again, this is on extreme difficulty. Uh, that's not how you sit on a couch. Also, this feels very, very easy to me. Maybe it's... No, it's, it's on extreme difficulty. This box is empty! You lied to me! Those fuckers. You will hate those enemies. They're easily one of my most despised yet respected enemies at the same time. Unlike the ninjas, there's like no way to track their movements. You don't know where they're going to hit you from. So it leaves you on edge whenever there's a round. There is a round whenever they are around. Oh shit, get away, get away, get away. Oh, no head for you. That's what she said. Um, now the sound is, uh, music is quiet. I guess I'll leave it at what it was default. dead already? What is going on in here? Jesus. What chair? You're not supposed to be up here. Get down. Go home. You're drunk. Oh, 
I'm not sure why they all instantly died. Ooh, rats. Kick. No, don't disappear into the wall. I wanted to kick you, make you explode violently. Hey, there's something I have noticed. Game. Um. Head bob. That's really, really obnoxious. Crosshair. This needs to be changed. Actually, no, it doesn't. This is, uh, exactly what I want. Okay, I just need to turn off head bob. Punch. Needs more SMG punching. And like I said, I am, uh, I've played this game so much before, just like the original Fear playthrough. Uh, I've played this game a lot, so I know exactly what's going to happen, so any bit of fear that's supposed to be there is kind of, kind of be ruined, because I've already played this so many times. So I'm just going to mute my mic during the scary times and try not to ruin the atmosphere. Uh, so for those who haven't played this game and they don't know what's coming, it can hopefully add to the playthrough, but, you know, I've played it so many times, I mainly play this game for the combat. The first time you play through it, the uh, the horror aspect is really fun, but um, after that, it kind of loses its value because you know what's going to happen. All of the grenades? Shh. Lol. Come get the mine. Of course you don't, I'm nowhere near you. I like the enemies in this game are usually quite smart and don't just charge at you. Did he not set the mine off? <laughs> Whatever, I have extra grenades. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. You're standing a foot away from my mine! Step one inch closer so that you'll blow up. He's just standing there looking. They're usually quite smart and won't just charge you. They'll have one person in 
They'll have one person investigate and then report. And their talking really, really helps you see what's going on. What? Why my mind not blow up? I think it was because the body was on it. That might have been the reason why it wouldn't. In other words, it should blow up now. Yeah, fuck it, I'll save it. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Damn it, I can't pick the mine back up now. What's the problem with this not being updated? This won't hurt me. Or they're not going to... Hello? Anyone home? Yep. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> Fuck! Giant explosion. Nothing left. Uh, the gore in this game is uh, more satisfying than it should be. I'm a terrible human being, I understand. But I find enjoyment in this amusement. Worst English of my life. They are dumb. <laughs> I like how this whole section was like based for shotgun. Oh shit, there's another one still alive? Ow. Good thing there's two medicates right here. What? Oh, dude. <laughs> Where'd his body go? <laughs> Let me try that again. The door's like open so violently. Whoops. I actually didn't mean to do that, but okay. That works. <laughs> I think the uh, the door has just as much strength as the melee, and that's why they die. The first time I played this game, that scared the shit out of me. Turn on flashlight, suddenly that. <laughs> 